And joining us now with the secrets to reading body language is Nicholas Boothman. He's author of How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less. Great to have you with us, Nick. Nice to be here. Thank you. So uh, when you first meet somebody, what, what should you do? I mean, what does your body say to others? You know, what we pick up in the first two seconds of meeting somebody is actually their attitude. It's your attitude at the beginning of an encounter more than anything else that determines your success or failure. You know, if you're with someone who's angry, you may you feel weird. If you're with someone who's laid back or sitting like you're sitting or up what and What am perky. I saying, by the way, well, the you're, way that you're, I'm you're, you're saying energy. Really? <laughs> yeah, oh, energy, good curiosity, and lots of feedback. A lot of people don't give feedback. You're nodding and smiling and all that sort of thing. Nothing <laughs> now worse. I'm like feeling weird because you're telling me all these things. Good. But it is interesting. <laughs> it is interesting. Oh. So, so what should people be doing? Let's say you walk into a party. What is the first thing you can do to send good energy, good physical vibes? Simple things. Number one. Wear great clothes, more people will take you seriously. No two ways about it. Says um, the man in the red shoes. Well, listen, no, you can't see them. <laughs> yeah. The, the second thing is, um, if you walk into a room full of strangers, always head for the middle of the room. The perception is that the people in the middle of the room are popular. Uh, and that people around the outside are not called wallflowers for nothing. Mm. As you walk into the middle of the room, walk slightly more slowly than you would normally. It sends out confidence, but also it's quite sexy. Very interesting. It doesn't mean the slower you walk, the sexier you are. The slower you walk, the sure. bigger idiot you are. But Crawl. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm only kidding. No. Um, so, so when it comes to then more personal relationships, people whom you already know, how do you send that note of interest physically? Well, if it's if if you're talking flirting, which is mm -hmm. perfectly normal, all mammals do it. And actually, in mammals, it's called promise withdraw. It's exactly that. You look, you look away, you look again. You've actually sent a signal that I'd like to get to know you better. What about touching, for example, the hand tap or the, the gesture on the arm? Be very careful. It, it, it's, it's actually called incidental touch. Uh, the, 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 you can sometimes seal a loving relationship when you first meet somebody uh, with a, a, a touch, a tap on the arm, but no groping, no grabbing forever. It could be just, you know, oh, look at this. And sometimes that sends magic sparks. And sometimes it could send the alternative. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. Groper, creep, stay away from Weirdo. me. Absolutely. Um, lastly, in terms of reading somebody else's physical signals, what do you recommend? Look, the main, there are volumes written on body language, but the bottom line is you have to be congruent. Your, your voice tone, your words, and your body language must all be saying the same thing. You mm. know the people that say, nice to see you. Mm -hmm. You don't believe them because they're... Disingenuous. They're, exactly. They're incongruent. Yeah. So the, the first thing you look for is that you actually mean what you're saying. You look like you mean what you're saying. Very Unlike some airlines that say, it's been our pleasure to serve you today. You think, no, it hasn't. You I guess you were like watching it. the waiting in line segment a few moments ago. <laughs> Nicholas Boothman, thanks so much for being with us. My I really pleasure. enjoy it. Interesting stuff.